What's up everybody, Tony here, and today we're going to be looking at my custom lightsaber build. This particular model is the 2003 uh, Master Replicas Force FX lightsaber. It's almost probably one of the first ones that they, they put out. And these are notorious for having problems with the swing sensors. And I've had this for quite some time and whenever I started it you would be holding it straight and the thing would just be swinging away and it was really annoying so just recently and not too long ago one of my one of my friends turned me on to uh, the lightsaber community and what everybody was doing as far as creating their own custom lightsabers and I figured I'd do that to mine because it really wasn't any good with the swing sensor going crazy um, so I decided to build my own. Now, like I said, this is the 2003 uh, A New Hope edition. And let me tell you, this is probably one of the, the harder conversions to do because the blade plug that I got from the Custom Saber Shop is not a direct drop-in replacement for the original blade holder that comes in this. You do have to do some pretty heavy modding to the blade holder to make this fit. So I figure I'm good with my hands and I could take this on and it I think it turned out pretty good. So like I said this is the New Hope edition. In this particular model the bubble card does not do anything. It's just for aesthetics. The switch is actually right here. And I know a lot of the newer 2005 models and everything do use the bubble card. Uh, just like Luke Skywalker's, they use the bubble car. I personally don't care for that. I like the button over here, but that's just me. And this particular button over here is not actually the button that came on this lightsaber. The one that came on here was a like a, la a latching switch. And this switch here, which is used with the Nano Biscotti version 3 that I have, is a momentary switch. And this switch is actually uh, a tactile switch that I found at an electronic shop and I made it to look like the original switch that came on here. I think it came out pretty good. This screw here uh, doesn't do anything but hold in. Uh, there's like a, a fake plastic um, spring in here and that's what holds this in place. This particular thing does not do anything. It's screwed into the plastic part here and that is it. Now, the other problem was is these screws here, this is a 440 screw, and the 440 screw up here would not, it was too small to fit the blade holder. The blade holder came with a hole that was much bigger than the 440, so I converted it into an 832, and I could not find a screw with a head on it that would fit into that little hole and still hold everything together, so what I did was I found a screw without a head on it, 832. So it holds the blade holder and everything else together as well as the 440 down there. And I still think it looks kind of cool, but the screws aren't exactly the same. So try to make that the best that I could. And another thing, the blade holder that was in here, the original one, had kind of like these little silver lines in it and I did my best to kind of emulate that. I think that came out pretty clean, really nice. And there's my little blade retention screw in there, kind of out, out of the way so you don't really see that. And then another thing was the letters. I had to revitalize those because over time they kind of wear out and they're pretty shallow. So I did the best that I could with those. Still think it looked pretty cool. Now the blade plug that I got for this was um, from this guy, uh, Dark Side Engineering, from I think it's called the Imperial Army Arms or whatever. I'll put a link in the description below. But he makes these really awesome blade plugs. It kind of looks like a, a jet engine. Really cool. Wait till you see it lit up. Now, as I said, I do have a Nano Biscotti uh, version 3 
for the sound card in here. I have a 28 millimeter two watt bass speaker, which sounds amazing. And that is all ran off of one 18650 Lion battery, which works out pretty cool. I haven't had to charge it yet, and I, I mess around with it here and there. Uh, as far as the chassis goes, I made that myself out of uh, PVC, PVC. Everything fits all nice and snug in there. And then I have a recharge port built into the chassis too, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this on so you guys can hear it. I have two sound fonts in here. The first sound font is this kind of mix and match of different sounds that I picked up. I believe I have some sounds from the light meat. I have the clashes from the light meat that I used. And then as far as the swings, I used uh, swings from, I believe it's MPPHD sound fonts. And then the second font is just the dark meat. Now, I, I particularly like the dark meat until I put in, you know, that mix and match of sounds that I had. So I'm going to go ahead and let you hear that and you, you be the judge of what you like. Now I'm going to put a glove on because this thing is a fingerprint magnet and I don't feel like cleaning it again after the 10th time. So here we go. If you only knew the power of the dark side. <laughs> now this does not do the light justice because it kind of makes it look like a pink, but it's really not. It's a nice, vibrant, deep red. And that's what I used. It's the, the Cree Copper uh, Deep Red, just a single. Uh, it does not have the flash on clash. It just uses, just like I said, the single LED. And it looks, in, I wish you could see in person, it looks amazing. And there's the, the speaker. Sounds awesome. <laughs> and then here's the second font. This is kind of weaker. It's got a little flicker to it. dark meat so that was my uh, custom saber I am working on a uh, the Luke Skywalker uh, edition so I'm gonna be putting up a, a video of that uh, pretty soon I just have to I have to build that so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some more videos if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave me a comment and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you might have about my saber or building or whatever in general. I also did put a post up on how I built and put together uh, this whole thing on the custom saber shop forum. I'll put a link in the description below just in case anybody wants to take a look at that too. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.